Because sailfish are such large, highly mobile, pelagic animals, they're way out in the open ocean. People very rarely see them close to the coast. And we've never been able to successfully keep a sailfish in captivity. And so there's very basic information about these fish that we need to know to be able to protect them. And, and kind of the first and foremost is how much they need to eat every day. That's kind of the biggest thing that nobody really has a good understanding of. What I do is I lean over, put the tag on the fish, and then I get rid of the tagging pole, and then I lean over again, and there's a zip tie there that's connecting these two links together going down into the muscle. And so when I pull that zip tie tight, I'm cinching the tag against the body of the fish to keep the tag tight so the video isn't shaking all over the place and the tag isn't shaking all over the place. Essentially what you're doing is just kind of darting into the muscle. Um, and that's kind of just like a, a quick ear pierce, like what humans do kind of thing. Um, so it doesn't really hurt the fish, it, and, and the whole tag is designed to come off the fish after a couple of days, so it really isn't, isn't much of a nuisance at all. The tags are designed to collect a number of different metrics on fish behavior. An easy way to think of it is like an Apple Watch or a, or a Fitbit or your iPhone, how they count your steps in a day. Um, there's something in those devices called an accelerometer, and so that's counting every single tail beat that that fish makes. So I can look at speed and, and the heading. So there's also a little compass to look at which direction the fish is moving in, if it's swimming up or down, uh, if it rolls its body to the right, if it rolls to the left. So lots and lots of different kind of three-dimensional data that you can look at with, with what the tag is collecting. And then I can pair that with the video camera that I also had on the tag. So that tag was on for almost three days. As soon as those links dissolve, the whole tag, because it's buoyant, it comes off the fish and then it floats to the surface, at which point I can go get it. People have been putting these kind of tags on, on sharks and things before, um, but this is the first of its kind for, for a sailfish, or any billfish for that matter. Um, and, and definitely the first uh, hunting attempt or hunting predation event that has been caught on video like this. I didn't know if it was gonna work because it would never been done before. Um, but it worked great. I, I got all of my tags back. I never lost a single one, which I'm pretty proud of. In the Eastern Tropical Pacific, where this study took place, um, there's a huge amount of commercial fishing activity that takes place. Uh, this is the area of the world where a lot of our mahi-mahi, a lot of our yellowfin tuna, a lot of other species that we catch and depend on for, for filling up grocery stores, things like that. That's where a lot of those species come from. And so because of the amount of fishing effort that goes on in that region, it, it becomes even more important to understand how to better manage and regulate those fisheries.